this year. Uh, and I know that the spark of life overlay is, is an issue where you can say uh, George Floyd was a wonderful person and he was, the, he was great, but if you go too far, that opens the door to this kind of evidence. In the absence of that, what I'll call violation of the spark of life analysis, in the absence of that, do you think this, this comes in? No. Under uh, Minnesota law, just like every other state in the country and almost in every federal court in the country, there is a rule called the character evidence rule. And evidence of someone's prior bad acts is not admissible to prove that he acted in conformity with those bad acts on this particular occasion. There's exceptions. The, the defense is trying to argue uh, modus operandi, that this is what George Floyd does. He gets high, and when he gets stopped, he you know, cries for his mom and feigns claustrophobia and whatever. The problem is, is that these particular cops, as Roger was saying, were not the ones involved in the prior arrest. They did not have knowledge of this information before. They are, they are dealing with the person that is in front of them. Now, if you go too far on um, allowing in information about uh, uh, spark of life evidence about how wonderful this gentle giant was, as he's often referred to as, the judge has made clear that that will open the door. And that's one of the exceptions to character evidence. When uh, the prosecution puts on evidence of the victim's good character, then the defense can bring evidence in of his bad character um, to, to rebut that evidence. So that is, that's the fine line that the prosecution is drawing here. Yeah, you know, Roger, I was